Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm here at Varigata and Kita. This is an event in collaboration with Indonesian Arid Society. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you some of the booths around here. And as you can hear from the sweeping noise all around me, this is actually the crack of dawn. The stores aren't open yet and people are just starting to start their day. But, oh my god, there's mosquitoes here. But uh, I'm going to show you some of the rare plants here, mostly aeroids, but I'm sure there are other species to discover in this episode. But in in the next episode, there's going to be a variegation contest, which I'm going to cover tomorrow. So, uh, today's just going to be an eye candy where possible. I'm going to show you the prices and you can see what's coming out from the aeroid market in Indonesia. All right, so I'm at the first booth and I'm already drooling. This is crazy amazing. Uh, let's start uh, from down here. I believe this is the milk confetti. And I just found out that they were actually tissue cultured. That's why there's so many of them coming to the market all at once. There's some massive strawberry shakes in here. And that one's massive too, that's the strawberry shake. Quite nice, I love the variegation on these. There's a little bit of red on them. Uh, mine also sometimes have these damages on, my, on the leaves when they unfurl. Maybe that's a normal thing with them. And then there's some tomatophyllums, tomatophyllums, some syngonium pinks here. This is interesting, I've never really seen this before. So apparently this nursery must have been specializing in rare plants because uh, again, I've never seen most of these. This is the tomatophyllum Xanadu, if I'm not wrong, I haven't seen this in a while, but this is the first time I've seen the variegated ones. So the shopkeeper here told me that their nursery is literally nearby here and we're in Depok right now in Indonesia. Uh, Thai Constellation, they're suddenly getting a lot of attention these days. I don't know what's happening with them. These are some uh, Philodendron Red Congo here. Again, massive Florida beauty. They're just everywhere these days. Pardon the sweeping noise. Everyone's furiously trying to clear up uh, clean up to start the day. This is the Black Cardinal Variegated. They're also coming in hot in the market. I remember that when they started to appear, people didn't really like them that much, but now they're becoming very, very popular. And the Black Cardinal has become a popular plant to hybridize because of its uh, unusual coloring. So be on the lookout for those. Some Marmorata, some Anthurium that's variegated. That's also a new thing that's uh, coming to the market quite hot. And here, I don't know what this is, it's probably the Domesticum Variegated. Oh, I forgot to mention that a lot of these have prices on them. This is 25 million Indonesian rupiah. They are also uh, quite popular because I've been into a lot of markets these days and I've been paying attention uh, to some of the prices and what are the new species that are coming to market. This black cardinal that we saw earlier that's variegated, this is 23 million. And then this, look at this. This is either the Anderson or the White Knight. But I think this is the Anderson. Yeah, sorry. The Anderson and it's 23 million. But look at how many plants there are in there. There's at least, I counted like six or seven plants in there and they're all beautifully variegated. Look at all the new leaves. This is actually a very good deal for this plant. They used to cost a lot more and people used to sell them per cutting. This is a little one, a tiny version. Look at those petioles, look at the details on those. This is really, really nice. Oh my god, I'm, a, I'm all, only on the first booth. This is insane. I'm already discovering so much. These guys are also becoming quite popular, this. And I believe that's the larger version. Is this a caramel marble? Let me see. Is there a tag? I can't find it, but I'm, I'm guessing this is the caramel marble that everyone's talking about. Okay, I had a little help. So this is in fact the caramel marble. <laughs> I really love the variegation on these. There's a little bit of orange, green, lime yellow. It's a very, very complicated coloring on these. And this is also quite hot right now. I've been seeing this around. This is the largest... Uh, oh, this is the Whipple Way. Never mind. This is definitely uh, 185 million. But this is what Kaylee Allen had mentioned in her videos. So anything that she mentioned will suddenly... <laughs> be popular and expensive. <laughs> Love how the new leaf unfurls over there. So this is the smaller one. I don't know if there's a price on the smaller one. Nope. This is 135 million for this plant. Beautiful variegation. And I, I'm guessing they probably do export if they're selling plants at this quality, at this price point. And this is the Philodendron Burlmark's Mint. That's the first time I've actually heard of this plant. 
I knew that they come in variegated and the variegation is actually really beautiful on those yellow. Um, this little plant here is 85 million, but truly this is the first time I've actually seen this. This is crazy. I did not know they come in mint. <laughs> and let me show you the big one. This is what the big one looks like. Bam. They're so gorgeous actually, right you guys? This is so exciting. I'm, oh my gosh, I'm trying to hold my excitement. <laughs> There's some little con Thai constellation here. There's a lot of strawberry shakes here. They're actually very fast to grow and they're very fast to propagate. Um, this is a variegated syngonium. I'm not sure what this one says. It says the panda. It's quite cute actually. But if you are not new to my channel, you'll know that I don't really collect syngoniums because their prices fall so fast. Their prices rise and fall really quickly. It's very unstable. Um, and I don't find them that beautiful to be honest. Sorry, sorry syngonium lovers. This is the Epipremnum marble. And this is apparently a very uh, hot ticket item based on the salesperson. This is the Philodendron Green Congo. And uh, let me show you the variegation up close. And when you touch the leaves and the petiole, this is a sturdy plant. You can tell this is a very strong plant. I actually quite enjoy touching these. <laughs> if I wasn't a vlogger, I probably would not be allowed to touch these. Look at the petiole too. Look at that. Oh my goodness, not just the leaves, but the petiole is just so stunning. I really love this plant and it's a rosette form philodendron if you look from up above. And then next to it here, this is the neighbor, the red Congo. So this one's red in color, but it's got some complicated pattern. If you look at here, it's a little bit pink, orange, yellow. Oh my god, this is actually quite nice. I'm starting to really dig this. The variegation doesn't seem to be so much on this one, but I think it's just starting to come in. I'm pretty sure they respond really well to light. And let me look at the petiole. I actually prefer the green Congo if you ask me, but this is also quite unique with this beautiful orange and pink on it. And then some Florida Beauty, again, these are coming in to the market. Uh, lately, a lot of people have been selling these. So I assume that their prices probably have peaked. This is the Philodendron gold, uh, Philodendron dragon, variegated. Oh my God, this, please don't tell me. This is the, this is 225 million. This is the variegated Philodendron martianum. My goodness, this is a, a fat boy Philodendron. If you've seen a lot of my tour videos, you'll know that I adore these, usually the green form. But this one seems a little bit thinner leaves and the, the petiole doesn't seem to be as chubby as the green form, maybe because it's variegated. Or maybe because this is still a young baby plant. Oh, I just wanted to insert that the younger version of the green Congo is 27 million. This is the baby. But I can imagine that this is a, probably a very uh, steady and fast grower. So I cannot imagine how those big ones might cost. Oh my god, I discovered something behind here. Look at this variegation on these. There's like white, lime green, uh, light green and dark green variegation. So this is uh, the Con Green Congo Marble, which is different from that one, which is just a regular Green Congo. 90 million for this one. My goodness. So just as, as a comparison, the regular Green Congo is 22, 27 million. This little thing is 90 million. This is probably a mutation, I'm guessing, from either seedlings or from cutting. But very, very cute variegation. Imagine this as a large specimen when it grows out. My goodness. So some of my thoughts on um, aeroids, there are actually a lot of new species that are coming in. And I know that we are very uh, tired of looking at the same old aeroids, like your varicosums, your palmanias, which were hot items in 2021, uh, like your melanochrysum. But there are a lot of cool, for example, this is a really cool anthurium. This is the red mamba and it's 125 million. My goodness, and super rare. Look at the beautiful veining on these. I have some uh, videos on the bird nest type anthurium because this is the bird nest type anthurium but i do have a video with eddie pranoto who is an expert at hybridizing them and collecting them so this is really really cute it looks like sword like shaped leaves uh, so yeah these are becoming popular I'm, I'm guessing and i'm hoping because they do deserve the place in the plant market and more um, variegated anthuriums here so yeah there are a lot of new species coming into the market 
and they're coming in very very expensive um, then there's also a lot of new collectors i've been talking to a few people and now is the right time to get into the market because a lot of the previously popular items are becoming very affordable and there are also a lot of new options to look out for so if you're new into the plant market welcome and this, now it's a really good time to shop away this is the black cardinal that's variegated at a smaller form oh by the way i'm in a different uh, different booth now this is uh, the name of the booth and my goodness that beautiful Thai constellation there's large ones and there's small ones and there's these um i don't know what is their pterodactyls but i've seen a lot of them the boots here have them and also of course the florida beauty i guess in this episode we can roll our eyes every time we see a florida beauty shall we do that because i'm seeing so many of them um, let me see what else uh, mar some marmoradas and look at this beautiful synapsis oh my gosh this amazing splash on them uh, these guys uh, actually the, the variegation is natural but they would not survive in nature because look at how variegated this is they would be out competed by the regular green forms of these plants this is a more balanced variegation where you know it's half variegated on the leaves Malomina, this is a baby one. I usually don't see the baby ones. And there's just children playing, that's so cute. <laughs> uh, this is another uh, uh, Martianum variegated. I guess a lot of people are growing these out even though it's my first time seeing them. It's 160 million. So the way it works is that if you're an early adopter of these uh, rare plants, hang on, sorry a truck went by, you would not have heard me. But anyways, the way that it works is that a lot of these plants are insanely priced because they're very, very new to the market and only a select few people have it. And the people who buy this are either serious collectors of aeroids or they're buying it to propagate it and multiply it and then they could profit off of it uh, and then they will have the mother plant for it. So that is the strat strategy of some of these collectors, which is a sustainable way to grow the collection. But if you're new at this, this is going to be a pretty steep price to get started. And there's a Syngonium scrambled egg here. Actually, this one is a beautiful one. Look at that silver. I don't know, it's not gonna show on camera, but there's a lot of silver. Is that lime green? It's a very complicated uh, pattern on this. Let me check the price. A lot of people have been growing this out. And Syngoniums, fast, fast growers, easy to propagate. But this one's a spider mite magnet, just so you know. Uh, there's a baby Florida beauty here. I may be in the market to get one because I overwatered mine and it's, it's half dead. Um, I tried to save it many times. Uh, it's it's uh, suffered root rot twice. So these are people. These are people. These guys. They really hate water. Just so you know. Uh, so I may be on the market on one of those if I accidentally kill mine. Beautiful. I don't know what this is. It says Z A, but it's eight eight uh, million. This is the uh, philodendron bipennifolium or the violin variegated. Beautiful yellow variegation on these. And some of the variegation is creamer. Some of them are more solid. There are a lot of strawberry shakes. Roll your eyes. <laughs> more Florida beauty here. And this syndapsis, this is really, really weird. I don't know if I'm a fan of it, to be honest. It says syndapsis sp something it's five million indonesian rupiah um i don't want to offend anybody but this is probably what a chemically induced variegation may look like but i may be wrong just and i'm not an expert in in variegation or chemically induced variegation but i've seen some work and this is what they look like and i don't know what i think about that uh, again i could be completely wrong this could have been a work of nature so do not do not take my word as as a as bible as gospel this is a domesticum variegated if i'm not wrong yeah four million indonesian rupiah this is probably a raffidophora let me see yeah it's a raffidophora para i'm gonna google that i'm gonna show you on the screen 20 million for these a lot of uh, raffidophoras are coming into the market and some of them are variegated so that is really cool these guys probably hasn't fenestrated yet because 
the uh, raphidophores are known to fenestrate as they are least mature. Beautiful somatophyllum, Angela. Roll your eyes, <laughs> Florida Beauty. This one is actually really, really tall. I'm actually finding them a little bit repetitive now. I'm sorry to say that because I've been seeing so many of them. There's another one here. They were so sought after that people propagated them like crazy in 2021, I believe. And now this is the result of that. This is a really cool variegated Monstera. This is not the Marmorada, by the way, because this looks a little bit more like the Marmorada with the yellow, but there's a little bit of white variegation on this. So I don't know what the name is. <laughs> there's no name on this. There's no name. Okay, moving on. We've got to move on. A lot of variegated Monsteras, their prices are still holding steady, but people are starting to sell them. So the, I would say that their prices have peaked and maybe even have come down a bit, but that's my guess. I'm not entirely sure. A lot of um, variegated Billy Thai as well coming into the market. Nice. And this is the Aglonema uh, Lotus Delight. I'm also in the market on one of these because I'm filming a propagation video, so you may see that soon. But I literally killed all of the cuttings. I got cocky, the cuttings actually took and they started putting out shoots and I overwatered them. So a lot of them are dead. That's sad. But this is a beautiful work from Sir Greg Hambali. Beautiful hybrid from him. One of the most stunning aglonemas, if you ask me. And that is a massive Milano Chrysum. That's what they look like when they grow up. So. You know, we all have hoarded these. We bought so many Milano Chrysums over the pandemic. I think the next goal is to grow them out so that they're this size. So you guys better get your Milano game on because yeah, they can get huge. And it's actually not that difficult. You do need to give them time, a bit of humidity, good care. Uh, but mostly time is the, is the best strategy for them. Uh, yeah, and this is the normal size Milano Chrysum leaf. I, I believe most of us at least have achieved this size by now. A lot of Syngoniums. Roll your eyes. This is a white wizard. And this is a very lanky uh, Thai constellation actually. <laughs> very, very long petiole. I think this was probably grown in low light. And it's trying to reach out and the new leaf is small. So this probably is telling me that it needs a little bit more light. And this is the Panda Galaxy Syngonium. We saw the Panda earlier. Interesting. More Domesticum variegated. A lot of people, again, are selling these. Been seeing that. Some Anderson. Philodendron White Princess back there. Hello. White Knight. Oh, all of them are, are out here in this party. Hello. <laughs> this is the Philodendron Meloniae variegata. I'm new to this. So I'm gonna Google that up. A lot of strawberry shakes. So I'm also uh, trying to study the plant trends, by the way. So if you guys uh, hear me ramble on about uh, some species, that's because I'm seeing a lot of them in the market, such as the strawberry shake. Their prices has come down quite a lot. More Florida Beauty, roll your eyes. Uh, more Florida Beauty. The, I mean, the, the thing with variegated plants is that their prices are still pretty high and they will pretty much hold on to their price because uh, if you look at them, each of their variegation is different. The quality is different on each one. And sometimes they just call out to us because we're not just buying the green forms of these plants anymore. This is pretty expensive. Why is this expensive? This is 33 million for this little guy. Um, but look at the variegation. This is quite nice. But this is very, very expensive. My goodness. <laughs> this one's 72 million. Oh, hang on. Let me show you the, the name of this booth. Um, <laughs> really cute poster here. So this is the brand, so if you want to reach out to them. I'm, I should be in the habit of introducing each brand before I tour their boots, but... Anyways, um, moving on. Green Congo baby here, 20 million. My goodness, very, very pricey. But again, these are new to the market. This is the Whipple Way, but this is still a cutting, 7 million. Look at that little uh, growth point here. But why is this, I, I don't know, this may have been mislabeled. I don't think this is the Whipple way. This looks like the, looks something else, but I could be wrong. Anyways, um, Java Beauty, this is a tomato phylum. And this is a hybrid of Sir Greg Hambali, 8 million and a half, not a bad price. They do get massive. 
Oh my god, the silver melon, this pink princess in the back, so many of them. Uh, variegated monstera back here with really nice variegation. Oh my, this is 18 million, but there's a lot of leaves and it's very good variegation on these. Some homolumina, some, I believe this is the Syngonium tricolor here. Uh, six and a half million. A lot of marmoradas. Variegated monstera. See, there are a lot of them coming into the market. So this, I think the price is going to start to buckle as people, um, as supply exceed demand here in Indonesia. Uh, Jose Buono there. Some variegated Adansonii. This has become 3 million only, my goodness. Remember I did a video on this where I propagated it and I said the prices fell? Well, this is even lower than that. It's fallen far below that. Interesting. And it's going to continue falling, I think. This is the uh, Raphidophora Megasperma variegated, 16 million. Look at the leaves, this is beautiful. And this can shingle really beautifully if you allow it to climb up. Really, I've been keeping an eye out for this um, plant, but it, I'm going to wait until the price gets better before I get it because I'm a sensible <laughs> collector like that. Um, Syngonium scrambled egg, this is the baby. Three, um, three mil, 375. It's very, very pricey. I don't know, again, my thought on Syngonium is when they're expensive, don't buy it. But when you are investing in them right before they got expensive, that's gonna be a good market for you. That means you can propagate it and still have some price increase. But I think, I don't know, we've covered a lot of Syngoniums, right? How many new species can appear? I don't know. So this is the Journey Plant House. Tons of variegated Monsteras here. A lot of hybrid Anthuriums. It's a silver blush or very uh, or hybrid over there. Thai Constellation coming in. Some beautiful Hoyas. Hello. Uh, this is probably a Forgetii hybrid. Um, if you ask me, uh, Anthurium hybrids are the next thing that's coming to the market. That's a Baloanum back there. And really interesting uh, Platycerium. That's also something that I believe is coming in hot. Next. And of course you have your Hoyas. Hoyas are slightly maybe de even declining in popularity these days. Uh, because a lot of you guys were collecting them so aggressively back in uh, 2020 and 21. Uh, this is uh, Soak Plants. This one doesn't have so many plants here, but this is the one that everyone's talking about. The Monstera, uh, something Flame... Uh, I can't remember the name. Flame Star, no, wait, hang on. <laughs> Let me see. It says... No, that's not it. <laughs> I don't know what this says. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. But yeah, this is a pretty hot item now. This is probably the... I think it's one Flame Monstera. Monstera Flame apa ya? Flame... Flame of, yeah, I can't remember, but but the fenestration can get nicer than this. This is still pretty juvenile. Ini kayaknya impor nih. Yeah, yeah, banyak because suddenly banyak yang di market ya masuk. Murah cuma empat juta setengah. Hmm. So untuk yang lain, aku pikir market Indonesia sekarang lebih mahal dibanding di luar. Iya, udah mulai mahal. Iya, dia nggak import sekarang. Udah nggak, justru ini agak nggak worth it karena Eko Genera kan mau datang kan. Jadi itu aku sebenarnya ada beli juga di sana tanamannya lebih harganya lebih oke okay gitu okay. dari luar. Nah, kayaknya sekarang market kita jadi kayak kemarin ekspor banyak banyak karena harga kita murah. Iya. Yeah. Kecuali yang spesies dari kita tapi sekarang ini nggak masuk kan kita kalau keluar juga. Iya, yeah. aneh ya jeng. <laughs> ini buat buffnya kamu atau? Ya, aku beberapa taruh sini. Oke. Okay. Buff sebelah ya. Di sini ada banyak mutasi, banyak hybrid. Dan juga banyak uh, eroid Indonesia yang variegated, mm -hmm. mungkin yang mulai keluar juga kan, kayak Raffidavora gitu. Oh, Tapi yeah. itu belum siap stoknya sih. Yeah, skin Dapsus kuber, kan juga. Kuberula yang dan lain-lain. Iya, yeah, Skin Dapsus juga Masih belum. Iya. Yeah. Jetsapin juga udah banyak sih ya. Iya. Yeah. Indonesia cuman belum pada belum pada budidaya yang banyak. Gitu. Tapi mahalnya karena emang banyak yang masih baru di sini. Benar-benar emang supply demand ya, karena semua orang kan berani juga kan spending. Waktu pandemi banyak yang dapat banyak untung, nurseries. Jadi mereka, ya gue invest 100 juta, ya udahlah gue beli-beli. Yang penting jadi mother plan, kan? Cuman, lagi banyak. I just hit a mosquito here. It's so much blood. It's a lot of mosquitoes. 
uh, as I mentioned with the lady earlier, we were having just a, a casual conversation. The prices of aeroids here, a lot of them have come down rapidly, but a lot of them, the new ones are coming up rapidly because people here actually do have the spending power, especially people who benefited from, uh, from the pandemic. A lot of nurseries did really well. They bought land. Now they're buying the new trending plants uh, for 2022 and, and onwards. They're going to be hybridizing them. They're going to be growing them out, cultivating them. So I'm walking to the next zone because uh, that's actually the first section here. There's uh, uh, four booths, but there are way more booths inside here. So just to show you, this place is really, really beautiful. This is Godong Ijo actually, and it's uh, uh, I believe it's run by Pak Chandra and his business partner. And Pak Chandra is a, air, a very, very famous arid collector here. He's been in the business for, I don't know, maybe 30 years. He bought, brought in a lot of mother plants. And I'm going to be doing some episode with him soon. I'm excited about that. Oh my God, hang on. We're going to be in there, but let's hear some music. And that is not good. I'm going to see if they can turn off that music for a while for us to vlog. All right, so the team uh, managed to turn off the music. That's really, really good. This is really interesting. This is a, I would say, a, I don't know what this is, a varicosum, but it's very, very long. A very, very <laughs> narrow, and the leaves are not as uh, fuzzy. So I'm guessing this may be a melanochrysum hybrid. I'm guessing. Melano and varicosum. And plowmini eyes back here. So this is the first booth, and it's with uh, Traversia Plant House. There's a lot of Voraquinums here. Beautiful Venetians on these. Look at this one here. Really, really nice, actually. So these guys, they look different. And that's Mr. Rico from Titikija. <laughs> uh, when you buy your Voraquinums, they all have different Venetians and grades. And this is another Philodendron, I think. But it is a bit rosette. And it's velvety. It's very, very velvety. What is this? <laughs> Looks in it? Philodendron fluxuria. Philod uh, species, yeah. Uh, yeah. My goodness, really pretty. So yeah, this is the luxuriance. My first time seeing these. There's a lot of new species coming in. Kalau yang ini tahu nggak apa? Itu serpent. Serpents, yeah. Only oh, this is your booth, yeah. Yeah. Boleh tayang muka nggak? Boleh. Say hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Yeah. So this is the owner of the booth, and we just trespass his booth. <laughs> ini apa sah serpents ya? Philodendron yeah. serpent. Okay. Yes, Kwami Kaole. Wow, this is new. Jadi, they are not even the same, ya? Nggak sama, ya? Nggak sama. Hmm. Serpent. Bulunya ini lebih tipis. Ya. Ini lebih tebal. Ini kalau serpent tuh daunnya dia lebih panjang. Hmm. Kalau Kwami itu agak bulat. Hmm, maturnya ya? Iya, maturnya. Interesting. El Coco. Oh iya, ini tadi El Coco. El Coco. Oh, aku kira Melano, bukan ya? Melano, bukan ya? Melano, itu Melano. Ya. Very similar, yeah. Yeah, one is in gendut and the back is uh, red. And red. So the uh, tadi the anthurium is dark, yeah, the dark yeah, form. Yeah. Dark form. Slot, slot. yeah. Do you export? Uh, no. no. Hmm. In Florida bronze. Bronze. Nice. Bronze. First time seeing a big one like this. Actually, it's really really nice. The color is really interesting. And then they get dark here. Yeah. The color get dark over time. This is a cross between the Philodendron Florida Ghost and the Black Cardinal. Yeah. Roll your eyes. And a lot of strawberry shakes coming in. Pink Princess. Beautiful uh, variegation. Mar marble. This is the marble. Marble. Okay. Yeah. Gimana penjualannya last few days? Uh, Alhamdulillah. Lancar. Ini udah banyak yang kosong sebelumnya full nggak ya berapa hari lalu? Penuh, penuh ya. Penuh. Sebelumnya full ya. Full. Nggak restock nih. Uh, <laughs> jauh saya. <laughs> oh ya, ya Bandung ya. Iya. Iya ya. Itu waktu lama jadi nggak nggak restock. This next booth is the Athlia Greenland. I already see some really interesting setup here. There's some baby syndapsis, white princess here, baby white princess. How cute is that? The variegation is quite nice actually, and I see more than one plant. In here, there's two vines. For this price, this is very, very good price. A new white uh, Anderson, sorry, Anderson. this is the Andersons. A lot of them coming to the market and they're really, really stunning. Look at that. This one's unfurling. It's really beautiful. A lot of variegated monsteras. 
Uh, this is the my wishlist plant, the Aglonema tricolor. Really, really interesting. This is really pretty too. I normally don't like Syngoniums, but this one caught my eye. The green splash. It's got a bit of silver, maybe because the light is hitting it the right way right now. It's coming at an angle. And look at this variegated Monstera. This is a beautiful one. The variegation is very spread out, which is good because actually I'm struggling now with mine with light. This is 35 million for this size. Really, really good variegation on this and the fenestration is just coming in. And there's a lot of them back here. So yeah, the stock of these variegated monsteras are quite high uh, as of late. A lot of marmoradas as well. And this one's interesting. Kalau ini bukan marmo kan? Ini apa ya? Ini marmo. Marmo ya. Tapi dia itu variegation cantik ya. Very nice. Ada uh, there's a few tones in the variegation of these. Yeah, let me check the price. Yeah. Ini ada harganya nggak? Oh ini induknya ya. Oh, I don't know. 35 million for this one. Yeah, Java Beauty di yang di bawah ya. This is the Thermophilum. Kalau ini harganya berapa ya? Yang Java Beauty. 8 juta. 8 juta. This is also the work of uh, Sir Greg Hambali, a hybrid. Roll your eyes. Oh, they have the little ones. Cute. This is the, the, the baby Java Beauty. How cute. They look, look at that. <laughs> Look at these tiny leaves. This is my finger, and this is how tiny the leaves are. Tapi mereka suka full sun atau enggak? Ma? Mereka full sun atau direct light atau teduh? Teduh. Teduh ya. Tapi terang. Yeah. I really want one of these. This is about seven million for the little ones. Cepat nggak tumbuhnya? Lumayan. Fast, lumayan. Fast growing, apparently. They can get quite massive too, so this is really cool. Uh, this is new to me. Okay, so there's a few interesting ones here. I'm gonna put on. Glad Hands, good price for this. Very, very good price. Look at the new leaf. 350 Corsifolium. This is completely new. I've never seen this before. It looks like a very skinny, I don't know, skinny something. Look at the, the leaves, they're very, very elegant. That's the Philodendron 69686 for the coat. This is a little bit of a um, out of trend plant, out of fashion, but it's one that I enjoy having around. And this is the Bob C, uh, Bob C variegated thing. I did not know they come in variegated. I'm still learning new things every time I come to these events. It's three million for the Bob C variegated. All right, this is Ruang Tanam Jakarta. They're doing some sound tests. I hope that their sound don't disturb us too much. This is really, really beautiful. The Syngonium. Love this setup here. Quite nice with the water. Oh my gosh. Yellow Syngoniums. I see that it's sold. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Jadi salesnya oke? Okay? The last berapa hari ini? Oke. Okay. Lumayan ya. Masih yeah. dua hari ya? Uh, udah. Iya. Dan stoknya tinggal segini doang. Yeah, Se you. Sebelumnya full nggak? Full. Oh my God, that's amazing. Happy to hear. And that's a beautiful anthurium. I've got to show you this. This is a beautiful anthurium. Look at that. We may even have missed some of the plants, some of the, uh, uh, this event was actually running for the last three days, but it was a weekday, so we're now on Saturday. So we may have missed out on some of the species that were already sold out, we couldn't film those. But this is a beautiful anthurium here. This next booth is Plin Plan. So yeah, this is, um, they gave me one of these. This is the moth pole setup that they had. 
I have to. I'm about to film something uh, on this setup, so give it time. Like, I have so much content on filming, but I really would love to show you how they devise the mouse pole setup. Raphidophora forum minivera variegated. This is a synapsis mint variegated, and it's only one million, you guys. This is only one million. It's actually a good price for these. I'm considering this. <laughs> I'm considering it. This is uh, Epipremnum species gun Gundrum variegata. Interesting. This is new to me. There's a Syndapsis Moonlight Elbow Variegata. This is also a good price, uh, 1 million. Plus, this is so interesting. What are you? What are you? Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. But there's no label on it. Look at the fenestration on the leaves. Even though it's small, it's pretty fenestrated. And there's a lot of uh, philodendron beauty here that is uh, economy price. This is only 1.35 million. Good price for these. Again, these are all coming into hot in the market. Oh, and forgot to tell you guys, roll your eyes. <laughs> They're coming to the market quite hot. The Whipple Way here, 105 million for this Whipple Way. Again, um, some of these uh, are sold for the early adopters and then they're gonna be multiplied and then a lot of these people are gonna make a return on this price. So don't, uh, when you look at these prices, don't go crazy. Just don't think that people are, you know, like jacking up the prices or whatever. This is abiding by the supply and demand. The prices are just following by the rules. This is a really interesting uh, variegated local Edensonii, but it's a little bit green on green, if you ask me. <laughs> and they're falling in prices of only uh, uh, 1.5 million. This is really interesting. This is an alocasia, apparently. A variegated alocasia, and this is 500,000. Very good price. Look at this, these little, little frogs. <laughs> Massive pot of... Uh, Peperomia argeria. This is a Thermodophyllum by Pinadi. Oh, sorry, this is the Java Beauty, but this is the bigger form. They look like the by, by Pinatifidum a little bit. Roll your eyes. But this one's beautiful. Look at the, that leaf here. Look at that uh, asymmetrical shape on that. Love it. It looks like a key. Like a key that unlocks something, and every key is different. <laughs> This is a gorgeous pictum tricolor. I just want to show you how big the leaf is actually. Look at that! It's, just, it's bigger than my palm. And I don't have a small palm. <laughs> That's amazing. Some variegated synapses here. This is a little bit more expensive. It's nine and a half million. This is also nine and a half million. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this one. How beautiful are you? Hello. This one is five, a little bit over five million skin. That's a trubia yellow. This is beauty. Look at that. I quite like these two, the uh, the begonia mocha or whatever they call this. I've always seen them, but they, I just never managed to get it for some reason because I have too many begonias already. Look at how big this one is. Massive, massive begonias. A lot of variegated uh, monsteras here. This is the mint, if I'm not wrong. And the mint is going for, this is Monstera White. Probably the white mint, I'm not sure. 294 million, Monstera White Mint. My goodness, my goodness. Some Brantianums. This is the Silver Cloud, I think. Majestic, sorry, I called you a Silver Cloud. This is Philodendron Majestic. Really, really nice. Let me check the price on that. This is 150,000. Oh my God, I may, I may come home with this. <laughs> this booth actually has pretty good prices on some of the plants. Really, truthfully, I, I want to take that one home. I'm a sucker for a good deal. I'm sorry. This is the Skindapsis paracensis, variegated. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, but the variegation is starting to fade away, but the lower leaves are beautiful. I have the regular green form of these. The green form is actually very nice because it's a little bit silver and blue. Let me come around. This is uh, Gang Malati. A lot of monsteras here. This is cute. This is very, very chubby. Very chubby. This is the... 
Let me see. Philodendron Squamiferum. Ooh. This is a larger, more mature form. It's still good price, you guys. This is a very, very good price. <laughs> Look at how chubby the leaves are. I'm struggling with mine. They're quite pest prone, so I'm uh, a lot of scale tend to like them and mealy bugs. And this is a very chubby parasol verde, right? Yeah. Look at how chubby those leaves are. They're supposed to get long and narrow, but these guys are chubby. Sometimes they do that, they mutate to conform to their environment. Beautiful Monstera. Uh, this is the Lupinum, Philodendron Lupinum, 150,000. They've gone down in price quite a lot. More variegated Monstera. This is a beautiful Aglonema. This is the White Legacy. I think I remember seeing this at my Aglonema video, 1.5 million. Very beautiful. And look at the patio here. Love it. Some caladiums mm -hmm. down here. This is really cool too. 150,000. I'm not sure what. Probably Labesia, maybe. And this setup here, so they're going to be doing some live uh, sale here, which is a, a popular way to sell plants. I'm going to do an episode on live sale soon to show you how that's done here. This is the Hoya, uh, this is Hoya Var, but I'm pretty sure this is the Croniana Super Silver. There's some really cute single leaf Epipremnum Marble here. Very nice, six, six million for this little cutting here. But look at the fenestration, holy crap, this is so nice. <laughs> I'm so excited here. I love looking at these baby plants because they're sometimes more affordable for me. This is the Gygus. I'm in the market for that too. How much is it? 850,000. Still too expensive for me, if you ask me. Um, let me see. Philodendron red tripartitum, five, uh, five and a half million. I don't know what this looks like, but I'm sure this is still the juvenile form. So we're at Titi Kijau now. Uh, Dan a video here which you can check out on my channel but they are a massive exporter of rare plants this is beautiful look at this holy crap look at this uh, <laughs> oh my god i just peed a little bit look at how uh, it's, it's symmetrical but without being symmetrical i don't know what's the word for it and there's two vines coming out of this beautiful beautiful it's a nice shingling pattern that we love in a lot of our aeroids. Oh my gosh, we have a variegated plant contest tomorrow and this is probably a really good contender if they submitted this for the contest. Really nice, the variegation is uniform, it's stable throughout, it's just <laughs> perfect. <laughs> this is the True BI Dark, that is uh, yellow variegated. I don't see any prices on these, so I can't tell you the price on these. Some really cool, oh, this is a Raphidophora, Tetrasperma, variegated. <laughs> They're actually becoming a little bit more affordable now because in the beginning, only like five people in the world could afford them. Some climbing syndapsis. Titi Kijo is known to have a lot of syndapsis here. Let me see if I can find a price. Uh, this one is four million. This is the Jade Satin variegated. So nice, my goodness. Uh, this taller one is 18 million for one that is climbing up. There are more skin dapses here. Roll your eyes. <laughs> Roll your eyes again. That's all the baby Florida beauties. Look at that. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Everywhere you turn your head, it's, it's you see them. Interesting. And this is really interesting. The one back here. This looks like it is an anthurium, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think this is an anthurium. I forgot the name, but it's actually really, really beautiful. Look at the, the striking pattern on the veins. Strawberry shake. This is a huge whipple way. This is a massive, probably the bigger one. This is a monster mint. Oh my God, with the sound test, stop it. So I was promised there will be no sound until 9 a.m. and it's still, uh, 8 o'clock now. I don't know uh, why. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get good sound quality out of this vlog. No. Beautiful Florida beauty. 
A lot of them. Roll your eyes. Just close your eyes. You don't roll them. <laughs> Till you can see the back of your brains. This is the, I believe, uh, let me see, what is this? I want to say the Syngonium Chiapins, but I could be wrong. I don't know what this is. No, it's not it. But this is really pretty. This is definitely an error, right? So I actually have a talk show here. I'm, I'm going to be discussing vlogging and I guess I'm going to be a guest up there. But I really don't understand why they have to do such a long sound test. I really don't. I'm borderline pissed now. This is the Somatophyllum. Oh, sorry, this is the Anthurium. Sorry, Anthurium Predator Radiatum. Variegated, some Monstera Mint. They're actually quite nice. Any, uh, before you would only see them in like five people's places because no one could afford them. This is actually still expensive. It's more expensive than my car. <laughs> but they're starting to come out a bit more in the woodwork and as more people have them, they're trying to stabilize. But it'll take another two years, I think, before people can afford them. Beautiful Monstera still the Bacuna. Really, really pretty. And always a pleasure to see a tortum unfurling. Really, really nice. Roll your eyes. Massive biliotai, very gated. gated. Roll your eyes. Ta -da. Look at this one leaf, sorry. Look at this one leaf. My goodness. Oh my gosh, holy crap. <laughs> Look at that, it's, it's profusely growing. This is super nice, my goodness. Someone give this Parasol Verde a moss pole, please. <laughs> it needs one. <laughs> yeah, see the new leaves are not getting bigger because it's, it needs a moss pole. But this is good because now you can propagate it easily without, if it's not attached to the moss pole. And these are quite up and coming into the market. The um, Epipremnum Amplissimum Yellow Variegated. I've been seeing them in cultivation. I believe, the, I don't know what this one is, but it's stunning. It looks like a peace lily. It looks, it looks like a spatiphyllum. Could be wrong. This is actually the m mature form of the philodendron. Holy crap, I can't remember the name in the top of my head. The philodendron fibric catophyllum. This is what their mature leaves look like. My goodness, this is stunning. And this is a uh, Brantianum here. Yes. <laughs> a Brantianum can get this big. Oh my goodness, I stand corrected. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> this is stunning. Look at that, and it's flowering. My goodness. This is a flower. This is the inflorescence that's coming out. Oh my goodness, eyes. <laughs> Plants cease to amaze me, my goodness. This is a beautiful Homolomina, yellow variegated. Uh, Alocasia, uh, is this, uh, can't remember the name. Alocasia, not Tigrina, maybe Tigrina, yeah. Is it Tigrina, bukan ya? Bukan. Longiloba. Longiloba, sorry, okay. Longiloba variegated, but normally the leaves are a bit longer than this, with the rabbit ears here. Really beautiful variegation on these, my goodness. Sorry, the name of the boot is Art Garden Flowers. Ini dari mana? Bandung. Bandung ya. I'll be coming in two weeks. So, ke Oh, yang yeah, yeah, yeah. Yang Datang juga. Yeah. Ikut pameran di Florida. So this is how they water their plants for <laughs> the exhibition. This is a really beautiful alocasia. My goodness. Oh my goodness. And the bottom is red, I think. Ini ada spesiesnya namanya. Uh, Filipina. Filipina. Yeah. Tahu namanya ya. Namanya scalprum. Scalprum. Yeah. Tapi scalprum is normally green kan? Oh. Tapi ini kok hitam ya? Hitam. Emang scalprum hitam itu ada. Oh. Uh, yang mirip itu antropelvet. Okay. This is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. More uh, homalomino. This one I really like how deformed the leaves are. This store is really interesting, I must say. Very, very interesting. Look at this one here. I don't even know what species this is. Look at the lime green venation on these and the dark leaves. This is probably an anthurium, I'm guessing, not a philodendron. Any anthurium, yeah? 
What? Phil Danon lo pinom? Yeah. Holy crap! Okay. <laughs> Now we've seen everything. My goodness, I've learned so much from just this one booth. Beautiful. So they lost the velvety uh, texture of the lupinum, and they become this. My goodness, guys, start collecting your lupinums and start sticking them up. <laughs> Because when you get mature leaves, they look so stunning. So here, this is uh, more of a uh, Tiapus community, which is where I uh, was hunting for uh, plant suppliers. Uh, Frisha Flora, I think they're also part of the member here. Uh, it's not too far from where we are now. It's about an hour, an hour and a half drive away. But they're a community of aeroid lovers, hybridizers, cultivators uh, in Tiapus region, in Bogor. They have some really crazy plants that we've never even heard of. A lot of mutations as well. This is really interesting. I, something tells me this is a different bot here, but I could be wrong. There's no label. Hang on, is there a label on these? Yeah, it's a different bot here. It says, I can't read the sign uh, well. It's 5 million. Uh, yeah, my goodness. But this is a beautiful, beautiful different bot here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Some uh, anthuriums, they're hybridizing a lot of anthuriums. There are a lot of baby plants here that I don't really know how to describe all of them. This is a Raphidophora, probably a Raphidophora here. This is maybe a Megasperma. There are a lot of really interesting plants coming out of the, um, this community here. Ini tau nggak ya apa? Amidrium. yang variegated ya, medium. Holy crap, my first time seeing this. This is really nice. Look at this, the young leaves look like this. So it's a, a medium, medium silver, um, variegated. And from what I see, the variegation seems very stable. And the leaves are thinner than the regular amidriums. And the fenestration, I think, is maybe a little bit stressed out from the variegation, but it's a beautiful kind of stress. That new leaf, look at that. I've cast a lot of skin dapses. I see this is the palm. This is a variegated palm. I'm not sure of the species name, but I want to enjoy. Look at the marking on these. I really want to take in the shape of the leaf is really unique as well. So excited to be here. This is the Hamalomina that's yellow. This I believe is the uh, also an Emidrium that's variegated, but it starts with crinkly leaves. I think this is the uh, Zipolania maybe. Let me see if I, I don't see a tag here. Yeah. And again, we mentioned earlier about these uh, Epipremnum amplicum yellow variegated. Uh, people are growing them out here. There's quite a lot in supply. Very good for collection at this point. A lot of variegated synapses. I'm not gonna go in detail for these because I have an episode dedicated to these variegated synapses. Ah, and here, this is the Anthurium gang. A lot of hybrids here. Interesting. I don't really know each one. This is the Dor Dorayaki, obviously, the popular one. There are some variegated ones here. This is the Silver Blush, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, but a lot of these are actually hybrids. So there's a lot to look out for in out of Indonesia for Anthuriums. And I want to quickly talk about these. They, they used to be pretty expensive, around 150,000 per node. And now they've become quite cheap, fast growing, easy to grow. Hi, Fifi, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi, this is Fifi. Fun? Good, how are you? Good. So she helped organize this show. Yes. She's also the MC. Yes. She, she does everything. She has a, a live sale platform, which we're going to talk about soon. We're going to show the yes. world how live sale is done in Indonesia, are we? Uh, okay. Yeah, because okay. that'll be interesting. No, but I, th I don't think, uh, do people outside, do they do live sale? I don't think so. So let's show them how yeah. it's done. Okay. <laughs> Thank cool. you for having us. Thank you. Yeah. So again, back to here. So they're becoming fast growing. They're easy to care for. And they're so beautiful. I hope that one day they will become a landscaping type plant or just a perishable plant that we put on our dining tables. But they do need a fair bit of light. Beautiful Syngoniums here. This is the baby scrambled eggs. Oh, sorry. This is the ray eye here. 2.5 million. Interesting. Interesting, and there's a little bit of bronze on it. Huh. I'm curious to see how much the burla marks. 2 million. <laughs> I may have 
uh, to lower mine a bit more now because I've been selling these as well but they're moving quite slowly uh, they are coming to the market quite hot uh, the Berla Marx Fantasy and they're beautiful they're rightfully so and I think how someday they'll become uh, far more affordable than this I hope that you guys can get your hands on this this is truly a unique philodendron not not hard at all this is an easy one to take care of uh, more marble here a lot of billiard ties here every booth literally have many to choose from i remember they were scarce at some point i, I bought mine it was like uh, the size of a pinky finger uh, about two years ago and now it's grown quite big but at the time it was very difficult to find one of those here's the raffidophora Petrosperma variegated. I don't see a price here, I think. <laughs> I'm curious to see how much they are now. This is the mint monsteras. This is the white monster, it says. Interesting, look at that. Holy crap, look at that. Uh, that's amazing, but the price is also amazing. This is bigger than the down payment of my house. Seriously. <laughs> Beautiful billetite. Just so you know, this is 95 million for this specimen, for this size. Really, really nice. Beautiful. But I would wait for the price to stabilize if I were you. I, or find a, you can find some good deals on these. Uh, but for these guys, you really need to find ones with good variegation. Their DNA really matters. Um, if you get something with like a mediocre variegation, you're going to have mediocre plants throughout its life. Beautiful pink princess. Same thing with pink princesses. You gotta start with a nice variegated one or else you're not gonna get a good, uh, you know, future leaves out of them. These epipermian marbles are just everywhere. Nine and a half million. Same price as the, um, the booth that we saw before. Really, really pretty. This is three million only. Maybe because it's only got um, one new leaf coming out. Here's the Syngonium ch uh, Chiapenze variegated. And these are actually coming into the market quite a lot. These days I've been seeing them and people have been picking them up. So they're also quite a trendy plant to have now. Roll your eyes, <laughs> roll your eyes. There's a lot of them here and below too. Look at that. Now is a good time. I mean, if you are living abroad and you're looking into getting um, the Florida Beauty, I'm pretty sure you can find uh, a nice variegated one at a good deal. But again, I would not negotiate for prices. I don't believe in negotiating prices with uh, nurseries. Everybody has a different standard for pricing. But if you shop around and find a good one, grab it. Now is a good time to get it. There's so much in stock. Or if you want to wait a bit more, that's completely fine too. This is really nice. I love the little tiny bit of variegation on this. It's the reverse, sorry. The green is... Um, the splasher. This is Philodendron Snowdrift. I've heard of this before, but I don't know if I've seen one or featured one in this channel before. Really, really stunning. A lot of strawberry shakes. My goodness. They used to be around 15 million per like small plant. Now they are probably a third of that price, but I have a feeling the price is going to come down even more because there's so many of them that I see here. Um, but they are actually a beautiful Philodendron to have. Look at that. This is actually gorgeous and it can get massive as we saw earlier. This is the Raphidophora burkerii variegated. I'm still new to the Raphidophora, but we're, as we see more coming to the market, because I'm starting to collect a few here and there. I, have the, I actually have this, but the green form. Uh, and then we're gonna observe the fenestration because the, the thing that differentiates one Raphidophora from the other is their fenestration, their mature leaves. Because when they're young, you can't really tell them, but this Megasperma is so beautiful. This is the one that we saw earlier with the beautiful shingling pattern on it. And I really have to call out this one, the King of Spades. Um, watch my Anthurium video at Frisha Flora because they are um, the father of uh, Eus, who is uh, Mr. Haji Uli. He's the one that hybridized this. I showed the parent plant in that video. So you know what the, the monster, the beautiful monster of the, the plant this can actually turn into. This is really nice. So this is new, the Skindapsis elliptipolia. <laughs> Interesting. And their leaves can actually get quite big. This is the first time I've seen it. And this is the Coriaceus Skindapsis, variegated. I actually have this. Beautiful thick leaves, not difficult to care for. 
This is a uh, Milano Chrysler variegated. Not sure how we feel about these, but they're starting to come into the market and people are starting to collect them. But I'm not sure if people have good reviews on the variegation yet, so we will see. Because we tend to like something when other people like them. Right? Right? <laughs> This is really interesting. This is a Raphidophora puberula. And it's got these curly leaves. I don't know if this is normal, the wavy leaves on these. And this is really interesting. Too. Oh, this is the Epipremus Cebu Blue, it says. So maybe this is the variegated form of it. Interesting. And that is the Epipremnum Mint. First time seeing these as well. I'm not sure which Epipremnum this is. Maybe the Pinatum. Possibly. Oh, and that last boo. Sorry, this is Bogana pot plants. All right, so we're almost done. Bear with me. This is Legacy Landscape, and this is actually very, very famous lands. Uh, not landscaper. They're famous uh, plant store. It's in northeast of the Java Island. They're very, very, very famous. They grow a lot of rare plants, a lot of Encephalardus, beautiful Hamalomino here, gorgeous Thomatophyllum. I'm gonna go quickly because we're almost done here. This is also, I believe, a tomato phylum. A lot of them are coming out of Indonesia, actually. A lot of hybrids and variegated ones. I'm not sure how it's like in the overseas market, so feel free to comment down below if you've seen a spike. I have a feeling that maybe this is something that's also pretty common in like Florida. Maybe, I can imagine that. But for these tomato phylums, you do need an outdoor space, I think. They don't really do that well indoors, although they can. But because of their rosette pattern, growth pattern, they really need light from up top. So they're not, not really that good for apartment um, dwellers. I don't see labeling, but this is really cute. Look at this. <laughs> With the subtle variegation. And this store is called Indo Aeroid. Let me show you what their... Uh, what do you call this? The window, I guess. When you, if you are in a mall and you have like a window display to hook show what the inside looks this is what it looks like <laughs> the window display this is really beautiful this looks like a red crystallinum but i could be wrong yeah no labeling anywhere but this is an anthurium beautiful look at how picturesque that is variegated bird nest and look at the spadex it's even variegated here this is why these can actually produce seeds that are variegated because the whole spadex is variegated as well I hope that these bird nest anthuriums take off. I really do. And Eddie Pranoto, which I interviewed in his channel, is the forefather of this. He's doing a great job at introducing new and exciting species. There's some baby plants here. I don't know. I'm gonna go quick. There's only two more booths to go. I, know, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, but the show is about to start, so I gotta uh, <laughs> get out of their hair soon. This is the Chiapenze variegated that I mentioned earlier. A lot of them are being grown out. So there's some supply of those. I don't know how I feel about this. This is the, I think this is the third or fourth time I've seen them here. I quite like it that there's the lime green in there, there's some orange splotches in there. But I think we gotta wait until they're matured to really uh, enjoy their beauty. Because it's really hard to tell now when they're so small. Some skin syngoniums here. So this is the Ragunan Aeroid community. So if you watch my earlier videos, I actually started out doing plant tours at Ragunan over the pandemic. So I'm really thankful. They really helped my channel take off. But Ragunan is an area of nurseries, not nurseries, they're actually plant shops because they do propagate some of the plants, but mostly they, are a sub they bring in uh, plants from suppliers, which means we can actually enjoy a lot of really cool species at a high turnover rate. This is the this White Knight Galaxy Marble maybe. They have some of the crazy rare plants because again, they have access to, to that uh, in Raguna. And this is the Philodendron rugosum or the pig skin. A lot of Scandapsis, a lot of Syngoniums. I quite like the silver on these. Again, they look quite nice. I'm surprised. I'm constantly proven wrong by myself. <laughs> this looks like the Wen Landing Eye, but it's not. I know it's not. More Milano Chrysum variegated. Maybe, I don't know, write down in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts on these. This is another Epipremnum marble. They're quite uh, readily available here. Variegated baby banana, look at this. 
And this, I don't know what this is. This is a oh, Spatifalum Sensation. Uh, 800,000. This is actually, this looks like a good price for me. I really would love to collect all the Peace Lilies in the world because there are so many varieties and this is just so nice, green on green on these. And they grow really reliably. No stress on the Peace Lilies. See, these are the Syngonium Chia Penze, variegated. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I'm on a plant pause. I'm not buying plants lately. I'm doing a lot of swapping because uh, our plant sales are actually down. We, we haven't sold a lot of plants these days. And I also have a lot of traveling expenses. I've got to pay my car loans, my house loans. So I'm not really uh, splurging on plants. This is really interesting here. I don't know what this is, but I think I saw this in another booth. And here we have Satyawan Plant Shop. And there are quite a few interesting plants here. They're selling a few baby plants here at a pretty decent price. And there are some beautiful viol uh, violin here, but they're still rooting away. And baby, baby, look at the tiny, tiny leaves. <clears throat> a lot of variegated monsteras here. And this one is the uh, Aglonema minion. This one caught my eye. I thought this was actually the uh, Lotus Delight, but it's definitely not. It's got uh, sturdier leaves. It's got darker greens. So yeah, this is also the work of Sir Greg Hambali. It's really beautiful, the contrasting uh, white translucent pink patio with a darker foliage with a little bit of pink on it still. Really, really elegant. And this is the Apipremnum Kujang here. Love the dreamlike variegation and also the fenestration. It's really, really interesting as well. Love it. And as uh, Apipremnum, I'm sure this is an easy one to care for. Yeah, if you look at the variegation, it's very similar to the Epipremnum aureum, which is the golden pothos. Really, really pretty. I hardly see this in the market. This is actually the first one that I saw here at this event. And of course, there's a few plants here that are variegated. Um, at Ansonia's and also the regular obliquas here. The prices have become quite affordable these days. Beautiful aglonemas. Look at this. Look at that. Very nice. And this too. Oh my goodness. We are down to the last last stand. Last stand standing over there. I thank you so much for your patience. This is so nice that you guys could come with me to these things so I can discover and share my discoveries and share my, what do you call it? Uh, reactions maybe. Because imagine if I didn't have this camera with me and I was just talking to myself. How crazy would people think I am? <laughs> this is a beautiful croton. Really nice croton, actually. And this one here, someone give this a moss pole, please. Someone give this a moss pole, it wants one. <laughs> the leaves are getting smaller and smaller. But as you can see, it's actually starting to lean a little bit. So you want, want, you want to just you know, put something behind it to grow into. But it's really beautiful variegation. This is probably a raffidophora. This is the Monstera again, but it doesn't have fenestration yet. Ooh, and this is from Jogja actually. Yeah, that's the name of the booth. So people have come far and wide to be here today. That's amazing. This is a Homalomina. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at the new leaf unfurling. Really, really pretty. A lot of Syngoniums. This is a beautiful variegated alocasia. I don't know what this one is, but it's got red underside. Some green congos, marmoradas. This is a beautiful variegated uh, anthurium. Shape of it. Look at how precious the shape is and how well it cradles in the arm, in the hand. <laughs> This is a beautiful anthurium too, it's just on its own. Calling out to me, look at how silver the leaves are, how velvety, but there's reds and silver in here. But it's just so spectacular. I don't see any price or any tag on these. So this is probably a hybrid, I'm guessing. This is Syndapsis. A lot of Syndapsis are, are being manufactured. I see that a lot of them are showing up. Okay, I, pro I know I promised this was the last one, but I think this booth just opened up. So let's give it a quick tour. It's a plant co-action here. A lot of uh, baby very... Sarah, hello. 
This one is 2 million. Very good variegation on these. This is probably the Epipermal Marble again. Every store has them. It's really amazing how everyone coordinates to make sure that, not to make sure, but they kind of follow the trend, I guess, the supply and demand. And I guess uh, when people have supply on these and there's a demand, I guess everyone just naturally picks them up. This is the Chia Penze variegated, and it looks nice from the back here too. It's like a true camouflage pattern. This is also uh, quite popular, I've seen them around, the Bipennifolium. But this one has a reverse green variegation on the leaf. Hello. Hello. This is the green Congo, yeah? No, this is Philodendron Melody Eye Variegated. Okay. And can I say the price? Nine and a half million Melody, Melody Eye Variegated. Interesting. This is Domesticum Variegated Matter Form. Nice. Endemic Indonesian. Yeah, Raphidophoras, yeah? Rapidophora, Fora, Fora Minifera, Variegated. Yeah. Be on the lookout for these. These are going to be coming into the market. And look at this baby Parasol Verde. How cute. Look at this. Hello. It's got good variegation though. More Florida beauty. Roll your eyes. This is the baby form of the fiber phylum. We saw the mature form earlier. They buy the Penifolium Variegated. Coming up a moss pole. This is a hibiscus, if I'm not wrong, but it's so nice. Just want to call this out. This is a beautiful variegated. Uh, piper or hibiscus, yeah? Piper, yeah. Piper, piper. Oh, sorry. This is a piper, not a hibiscus. To... Very, very gorgeous on these. A lot of pipers are also endemic to Indonesia. This is a beautiful one. I remember in my last video at Frisha Flora, I wanted these, but I think I couldn't afford it. Uh, roll your eyes, um, Marmarada, roll your eyes, they're just literally, they're like Starbucks, they show up everywhere, everywhere you turn your head, there's one of them. And this is really interesting, uh, this is Syngonium, yeah? Uh, T25, this is a big push of them, <laughs> interesting. And there's a synapsis here that I've never seen before, it's got lime green instead of the silver, interesting. All right, I guess that's it. I gotta, I gotta go because I've got a talk show to do soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm at Botanist on Instagram. If you wanna DM me on any questions regarding plant care and propagations, I'll try my best to get back to you. Meanwhile, do take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.